NEV has recently published moral questions of compulsory English for this year. And in today's video, I'll attempt to present solution of the moral question. Hi, I'm Sanjeev, and you all are welcome to my channel. Let's begin with the solution of passes. This time in passes, there are two questions. Why do some people like to join university? What advantage do they have from university? And what, according to the speaker, what are the additional benefits of university education? As you can notice, the full marks is four. That means each question right carries uh, two marks. So when you are attempting the passes, uh, try to look for the keywords in the passes. That is one of the techniques. It says, why do some people, so some keyword is some people here. And you look up and when you notice it, especially in second, first three lines, you notice you find that. In first three lines, you find answer to these questions, especially you have the word here, some people, assume means think. Okay, so when we read the questions like, some people assume that the only purpose of university education is to improve job prospects. Others think that society and the individuals get much, get benefit much broader ways. So when we write answer to this very question, we take those first three lines into consideration because uh, fourth line onwards, we have the majority of people and the question is only demanding the view of some people towards the university. So answer can be, some people like to join university thinking that it will improve their chances to get job in the future. They can secure a better job attending the universities. When we write answer to the passage, we do not copy the sentences as it is, rather we copy the main ideas. So the word to improve job prospects, we have written the chances to get job. Uh, second question says, according to the speaker, what are the additional benefits of university education? In this very major question, uh, the major keyword is additional. So one has to keep this word additional benefits in mind and search for the answer. And you can notice the answer, there are other benefits. So other means additional benefits. So from here, okay, from here to the end, we have the answer. So when you go through that, then you find the answer to question number B. And it says, what, according to the speaker, what are the additional benefits of university education? And the answer is, the speaker points out many other additional benefits of university education. Firstly, university education helps the students develop better social skills and improves them as a person. Uh, similarly, it also helps in the growth of their maturity and confidence, leading them to live a better life. Likewise, society also gets benefit from the economic contribution of the university graduates. In fact, this answer is just the paraphrasing of whatever is given here in the passage. Now, moving forward, we have uh, three questions of grammar. So carrying 12 marks altogether, let's see what question number three says. Question number three says, choosing the appropriate verbs given below in the bracket, rewrite the sentences beginning with the words given. So we have four verbs. Make it easier, discourage, force, and encourage. And one is done for you as the example. In, ex in examination, example is also very important for the student to understand. As you read the example, then you find that when they took the drug, it was more difficult, here you have the word more difficult for them to think rationally. Since the question is in past tense, you make, you, you write your answer in past tense, the drug made it more difficult for them to think rationally. In fact, the four options which you have in the bracket, they are the correct answer of these four questions, okay? So you are going to supply one verb in each question. Question number A says, when they took the drug, they could relax and enjoy themselves more easily. So here keyword is more easily. So which one is the word here like easy, easy, easy? Okay, here you have the first one, make it easier. But notice the question is in past tense. So we change make into made. And the answer is the drug made it easier for them 
to relax and enjoy themselves. Okay, we replace more easily with made it easier. Question number two. Although there was a shortage of food, people still wanted to take the drug. Means people still wanted, still is the very important word for here. Even the shortage of food, even the food shortage did not discourage people from taking the drug. Number C, because of the economic crisis, the government had to take some decisive action so had to is very important had to suggest that it is some it had to indicates obligation so c number answer is now two bobs are left force and encourage so obviously we go with force and since the question is in past tense we take the answer in past tense the economic crisis forced the government to take the dot you have there okay now number d after the new law was introduced, people wanted to take, talk, take the drug even more. Even more is the keyword. So they wanted to take more, you know. So uh, D number answer is the new law encouraged the people to take the drug. Now, question number four, what it says, it says, add an appropriate non-defined relative clause to the following sentences. A number, when I came back, I found that my car, and we have dot, dot, had disappeared. Car is an object and with object we use the relative pronoun which. So simple answer can be which I had parked. You are supposed to put this answer in the gap here. Okay so the full answer is like when I came back I found that my car which I had parked had disappeared. Number B. At last they managed to repair the telephone. Notice the past tense managed. What they did, repair the telephone. So they repair the telephone. Obviously, we repair the things which are not working. And telephone is an object like the car. So you can say which was not working. And please put full stop here, here too. Okay, it is missing in the answer. Supply the full stop. Number C, the teacher did a dot turn around suddenly. The teacher since teacher is a person and teacher either the teacher is looking at the student or there is a chance that the teacher is looking at the whiteboard so whiteboard or board i have gone with the teacher comma who was riding on the board comma turned around suddenly d number i could not wait to get back to janakpur janakpur is a place and with place we use the relative pronoun where so the answer is i could not wait to get back to janakpur where I was born. And number E, and again, after burn, please supply full stop. Okay, so in D number, supply full stop, as well as in B number, supply a full stop. And these B number, A number, and C number, they come in between, so you don't need to. Number last, I eventually found the letter, the dot, comma, in my jacket pocket. You are talking about later. Later is an object, so you can say, which I had lost in my jacket pocket because you found it. Now, question number five says, change the sentences below using either when as soon as plus past or when as soon as uh, plus past perfect, whichever is appropriate. So here you can start with when or here you can start with as soon as. For convenience, I have just taken as soon as, you also can use when. Here, one thing has to be taken into consideration that if two events take place at the same time, then you use simple past tense in both the events. But if one event is over, and if there is a slight gap, and if another event begins, then you have to write, in such case, you have to write the first event in past perfect tense. Question number A says, the, they saw the house and they immediately fell in love with it. They saw the house and they immediately fell in love with it. Liking something is something sudden. It is something spontaneous. Therefore, we use simple past tense for both. And you replace and and you replace immediately too. And the answer is, as soon as they saw the house, this comma replaces and, and we remove immediately. They fell in love with it. Number B, I wrote the letter and posted it straight away. We write a letter, then we have to go to post office, then we have to buy the envelope, we have to stick the 
uh, what do you call in what do you call the stamps then only we post it therefore there is gap so since there is gap we are going to write the first event in past perfect tense and we are going to remove the word straight away and so b number answer is as soon as i had written the letter i posted it full stop okay so we do not say straight away number c the train passed and immediately the crossing barrier went up again you can notice it is only after the train passes the crossing crossing barrier goes up in order to avoid the accident so here we have two events coming one after another so we are going to write the first event in past perfect tense and the answer is as soon as the train had passed the crossing barrier went up and finally last number he left the house straight after breakfast this d number is different from a b c because in a b c we have first event then we have second event but in number d we have second event then only we have first event obviously he took the breakfast then he left the house so and one more thing here he must have completed the breakfast before he left the house so we are again going to use the past perfect tense in the case of past past event and the answer is as soon as he had taken his breakfast or as soon as he had had his breakfast or as soon as he had eaten his breakfast he left the house one thing students can do here is they can write when instead of as soon as so if you say let's see the last one when he had taken his breakfast he left the house again that's okay so in this video i have not covered the question answers from the heritage of words and the free compositions if you want that also you can comment it in the video so that i will prepare part 2 it brings us to the end of today's video if you are new to my channel and have not subscribed my channel yet subscribe my channel thanks for watching